Corgan, what are you going to do in this big house? They're not coming back. You're alone. Worried this trail might have gone cold. Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. How exactly? You'll see when the time comes. You could stand to be nicer sometime. I suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? Yes? My, my. That... A bite. Just one morsel. One piece. A crumb. Food. Food. <coughs> Shite. Not, not again. Not again. He doesn't seem happy to see us. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. So, where shall we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains, see them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, it'd be like a... Ball and chain? Planned to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Thought you might object. Me? Please. I can be extraordinarily cons- Yen, look me in the- Many things. Craven's blood, flowing profusely, trails clear, should lead me to him. Show me what you got. 